Good afternoon to everyone. Today, I'm going to share with you a part about myself, okay, and why I choose community care. I started as a student nurse. Very simple, it's hard work like what you say, but it is very enjoying because I see life change. I proceed from student nurse and I became a junior nurse in an ICU. And working in the ICU, I see a lot of uh, changes, a very active, very, uh, how, how I call it, uh, fulfilling life at that time point because it's all about activity in ICU. But then I learned that it is more than just that. Nursing is not about just in ICU. I was exposed to research. In fact, I could do quite a fair bit of research. In the work that I'm doing right now, as I progress in my age in my nursing career, and I do quite a lot of improvement as well. Desire to learn in nursing has helped me to gain more. And of course, my chance came. Because I learn and learn, right? I managed to be given the MOH scholarship to become a PhD scholar. I finished my PhD and I became a doctor. Never in my dream, huh, when I started on nursing career, I could be a doctor. But nursing has given me this chance. One of my mentors tell me, Betty, chances are not chances. They are there for you. For you to contribute back to the society after you have gained. Since I'm in the acute setting, you know, I want to contribute more. How? Time waits for no man. I got one big, great, great opportunity to join the community nursing. Why? Because community nursing is budding right now. It is a growing industry. There are lots of challenges in front. Lots of ways we could expand and grow nursing. What is community nursing uh, to me? You know, is it the same as inpatient? Is it the same as acute settings? The answer is not quite. Why? Because in community nursing, you have more of your population who are the elderly. You work with them. You help them not only to recover, but you help them to live live as best as they can, achieve their functional status as best as they can. In community nursing, it's about horizontal care. Why? Because you cannot be working on one area alone. You must be good in palliative, you must be good in wound, you must be good in dementia because you're dealing with a lot of things that the elderly is having. Okay? You must also know, you must need to know some of the psychosocial activities and how to manage within your other partners like your therapist, Okay, occupational, physio, speech therapies. You need to work with the social workers because they enhance the psychosocial of the elderly. So there's a lot of things within ComCare that you can actually work on for nursing. What have I been doing all this while? So let me share with you. Huh? I deal with dementia patients. The other lot of people we work with is to help the community people, the people who live in the community, live well, live their life to the fullest. Okay? We deal with dying. It is also one of the things I find community nursing is very different. We, went, we, we talk about wellness, but the wellness here is talking about living to your best that you can, going off and living in dignity and respect. And that's what everyone wants. Even your grandmother, my grandmother, my mother would want that. Even I myself would want that one day. As a nurse, there's a phrase that says, we have the opportunity to heal hearts, mind, soul and body of our patients, ourselves and their families, Sometimes all these elderly cannot remember your name, but it doesn't matter. They remember what you have done for them. They will always remember your voice if they don't remember your face. All I wanted to do when I come out to community nursing is to be that light, that little spark that brings on that spark and more sparks comes on and then we will move on from there. I'm what I am today because in nursing itself, I've got good leaders. In fact, they reaffirm me. Of course, not everything is smooth and uh, all, all, all no rain. Huh? It's not true. There are thunderstorms as well. But I've got people who trusted me. And I'm very grateful. I've got families who love me. And more importantly, I've got my mother who actually sacrificed for me. Uh, since I was young, she passed away already. And of course, I've got God who provided and protects me. At the end of everything else, you ask yourself, what would you really want in life? I think this is what I want. On my tombstone, it will be said, Well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful in little things that you have, the skills and the talent that you have, but you have given more so that more people will benefit from it. And I'm very proud to be a Renxian and more importantly, a Comcanus. Thank you.